Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for disappearing for six days. And thank you for still subscribing and still watching the, the live video, the Battle of Yields. I hope that it was somewhat helpful for some of you and you could join the test, you could test uh, the farming, investing or reinvesting, so on, so on. My name is Sabi and I'm here to help you with crypto. So if you're new, consider subscribing and smash the like button if you like the content, obviously. Let's start. Before we dive in, just the usual user VPN. If you want to get in contact with me, Twitter, Discord, everything is in the description or you can see my Twitter uh, tag or Twitter user. Feel free to follow and uh, send me a message if you have a question. We are at the Bitcoin price chart and I don't like how it looks like. Also, we are still in September and just today in the morning the stock market had let's say a bit of a rumbling around and that was because of China. China induced a mini financial crash or something like that and that had effect to, um, to a lot of stock market, a lot of indexes. If you want me, I can show you the Germany 40, which was formerly Germany 30. Now it has 40 companies and this was all today. Now, obviously, when the stock market uh, has troubles, that is also visible on Bitcoin. And right now we are at the 44,600. As you can see, these um, zones or these rectangles, uh, for me, these are the support and resistance levels. And we have an important one here at the 42, 43,000. We have a smaller one at the 44,000. So I, I do hope that this will hold the price. Uh, also, fear and greed index is down to 50, I think, from the 79. Therefore, let's say we had a retracement. Now, what troubles me here, what I really don't like to see, and I don't want to scare you, I'm just gonna point it out. As I pointed out a bit earlier, this part here, this all movements are very similar to these movements. Therefore, yeah, as I said, we can't exclude anything. Anyway, I don't really um, believe it. I don't think that we will stop here and we enter the bear market. But uh, yeah, this, this, doesn't, this doesn't look good to me. And this could mean that we will still go sideways for some time. Last time this sideways meant 95 days. And right now, right now we are not at, at the 95, we are at the 42. If these two are similar, and let's say it will drag it for another 30, 40 days, the decision point will be whether we will have volume or not. I would rather have Bitcoin at the 35,000 on the side on the side movements than at the 50 around 50 on the side movements because at 35 it's much more appealing for bigger whales to buy otherwise they they might just dump it to push down the price if you don't want to sell if you're not trading this shouldn't really concern you you should just find a good staking company and stake it so your crypto would work and uh, and and earn more and more and maybe you will just take it out when we have another peak another all-time high i don't think that that will happen in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, maybe in november december that that was my prediction anyway so yeah let's wait it out ethereum ethereum it's at the 3200 sorry 3130 and after it almost broke the previous all-time high which was the 4300 we are back in this uh, support levels obviously it is following bitcoin's movements therefore i don't expect anything from ethereum um, until bitcoin moves or if i see a big shootout from ethereum before bitcoin or if Bitcoin doesn't follow up, then I will sell some Ethereum. I might sell Ethereum even uh, even right now, or maybe I will just convert some of it into Arond because right now Arond is is down back to the 205. Uh, it's at a very important support level. This uh, previous all-time highs. I really would like to see Arond 
holding this support and 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 turning back i don't expect from Aaron obviously something like this i don't think that's gonna happen i i think that for a, for a longer time now we will have this kind of movement maybe some dips here and there so if you want to accumulate these are the these are the appropriate times not when it's at the 300 battle of fields i hope that everyone tested the Maiar decks i hope that you found a good strategy and i hope that you also send all the bugs you found, all the problems you found to the team to help them uh, gather as much data as it's possible. So um, yeah, they could release a much better decks without bugs, without problems, because obviously after they launch and the DeFi is full of bugs that will have an effect on the on the um, Aaron's Aaron price. And we don't want that, obviously. But I don't think that that will happen. Benny and other team members tweeted that they are gathering a lot of data. They are um, correcting a lot of things with the Myr exchange. And yeah, I do hope that this will go flawlessly or with only minor problems because yeah, you, you just can't make a perfect system. That's, that's impossible. I think that's impossible uh, from, from the first run. I mean, yeah, you improve it as it goes. Okay, where you will fail and most people will fail to make a profit because let's just assume a situation where Bitcoin goes up to the 100k and I know that when we are in fear it's just so impossible to imagine but here, here everyone was chanting Bitcoin to 100 so it's just a matter of days and a couple of percentages up and down so let's just imagine that Bitcoin goes to goes up to 100k and everybody is uh, chanting and tweeting that Bitcoin will go to the million. That happened when Bitcoin was at around 50 or I'm, I'm sorry at 30 and 40 in January. Everybody was saying Bitcoin will go to the 300k and it didn't. It stopped at the 40, uh, 64. So if Bitcoin now goes to the 70, 80, 100k, where people will fail? Well, they will fail to take profits. They will fail to sell any coin because they will become greedy. And when everything will start to drop and Bitcoin will drop 10% and our coins 30 and 40, that's when everybody will want to. Uh, sell it. That's when you will just try to to find your hard wallet or the wallet on your phone, and that's when you will just won't be able to sell it because all the systems will be down. Every server will be fuming because they just won't be able to process that much data. What you need to do now? Well, if you are in a profit, you should take some profit. If you are in a minus, well. I, I don't really like to sell in minus. I never do that. I usually wait. If we are in the bear market, if we go, I don't think we are. If we go to the bear market, let's say, or if we go in another mini bear market, meaning that we will revisit this 30 something, 20 something levels, and you say that, okay, I'm just sick of it and I can't follow it anymore because it just may, it just gives me stress and it just makes me angry, I think you should consider staking it. You should uh, consider finding a good staking provider and just leave it there for a longer time. Therefore, you don't only hold it, you multiply it as well. And I think that's always a good option. If you ask me what I'm going to do, if I make a bigger profit, then obviously I will sell some and take some profit, take some money out uh, of uh, crypto. If um, I don't sell it, obviously I will stake it and leave it there as I do with Aaron. If I sell it and let's say I put it in stable coin, but I don't really want to pay the tax for it yet, then I will stake the stable coin as well for, for a year, for example, because they give you 5, 10, 20% um, staking rewards for the stable coins as well. And that is the, I think, 100 times more than the banks give you on your fiat currency. So these are the options I'm considering. Obviously, there are much more. And obviously, if the bear market hits, which I don't think it will right now, but if it happens, then obviously we will trade the bear market as well. We can always short 
and uh, we can we can uh, make a pretty good goal, dollar cost average on the bitcoin buying the dips and uh, shorting it with uh, a smaller amount of money and a smaller leverage if you want leverage if you don't want leverage which i usually don't recommend then you just short it with 1x and uh, gather some money as it goes down this is all i wanted to talk about today thank you very much for watching sorry for my voice let's say i'm still in recovery mode tomorrow will be everything better and better and i'm sure that we will see a price turnaround we just need to wait don't forget to subscribe on your way out and smash the like button if you like the content. See you tomorrow.